Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be for those of you guys going into third year. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right to it. First up, you got to know microbiology is going to be your main focus in winter semester. So how is microbiology going to be like and what you're going to use? So microbiome, in my opinion, is going to be one of the best subjects ever. It's very interesting. I really enjoyed it. And for the first part, usually you're going to have like one week of lab practical. So what happens is before your practical starts, you're going to have a small test, which is going to be like an MCQ exam for that. I think 20 out of 25 is pass mark. Um, once you pass, you get to do the practicals uninterrupted. So what happens is during this week, you're going to have a lot of tasks. You get paired up with this one other person who you're going to be doing the tasks with and during this course you get to learn about a lot of stuff so this is going to be very fun um one of the best weeks i'm going to tell you in third year and after this what happens is you got to start preparing for your finals which usually takes place somewhere around end of jan to beginning of february during that time so i would definitely recommend you guys to like get this exam out of the way asap because it's it's pretty good i feel like it's one of the best exams that you can pass quite easily if you are very focused on your practical aspect as well as uh, studying the theory for it as well so how is it going to be so for this the resources are mainly using wikiscripta i would definitely recommend you guys to look up wikiscripta for microbiology because it has a lot of the questions that you're going to have for the examination and apart from that, I would also recommend you guys to find as many videos as you can to use for microbiology because I feel like visually learning microbiology is one of the best ways to remember it. There's going to be like a lot of pictures and stuff to help you remember it. If you look up sketchy, sketchy micro, it's going to be really useful for you guys. Some of the videos could be on YouTube. So I would recommend you guys to use that first before getting a membership. So apart from that, I would definitely recommend you to go over the presentations, the presentations concern a lot of the topics that the professors expect from you for the examination. So make sure you go through those. And apart from that, I would recommend you to have a general knowledge on everything. For the microbio finals, what happens is usually you have to pick a triplet with all the questions that you're going to be asked on. So for that, the first part is going to be general microbiology. Then the second part is going to concern um, the microbes. So it could be a question relating to bacteria, fungi, virus or any of these things. And the third part is usually something clinical. So for this, you got to know about antibiotics, their mechanism, as well as some other stuff that's included. All of this is covered in Wikiscripta, so I would definitely recommend you guys to look at it there. And apart from this, before you get to answer your questions, usually you get to have a practical part. So for this practical part, you should be used to it from your labs. I also see it outside the microbio labs, wherein they have these prepared samples with the microbes growing in the agars. So you got to know which microbe goes, grows in what agar, and you got to make sure your theory is really solid to make sure your practical understanding of these things is also solid. Apart from these cultures, there could also be some other stuff that you may not have seen during the practical class. So when you see it, don't get too startled by it because it's there in the presentations. You study it theoretically. So once you see it, it should be no such prop. Just look it up online and it should be fine. Because I think the anaerobic culture or something like that, you don't actually get to see it in the practical classes but it could come for you in the examination that's it for microbiology you're going to have a lot of small subjects during the winter of third year so for me the first real final that i had to do was for radiology it's a very small final it's going to be done in the computer room so here what's going to happen is um you're going to get an email from the radiology department giving you the necessary information that you need for the examination so for this they'll give you uh, the list of questions with the answers you just memorize that as well as uh, give you these uh, list of like video presentations which you can just access to see some of the imaging methods used in radiology so the examination is just going to be mcq for that for those questions and trust me it's going to be very simple and you guys will ace it after that what i did was one week later i gave my path of biochemistry now this subject what happens with it is it's a compulsory elective so what this means is like you get to choose three like any one of the three so there's pathobiochem one two and three i chose one because i wanted to get it out of the way so what's the difference between all three of them the first one is going to be about inherited diseases so it's going to focus on childhood diseases as well as some inborn 
errors as such and the lectures happen every twice every week then apart from that for pathobiochem 2 it's with the genetics and oncology department there's a lot it has uh, more questions than pathobiochem 1 and if that's your personal interest genetics and oncology then i would definitely recommend you guys to go for that and the third one is going to be about metabolic disorders and for this the examinations usually happen um mid december so it's going to be the last among the three to have the examination dates. So that's it for pathobiochem. And it's usually going to be a doublet. So for this, you're going to get two questions which you got to answer for. And yeah, it's quite a simple exam. Get it out of the way ASAP in my recommendation. And after this, you're going to have along with microbio in the JanFeb time, internal medicine and surgery or rather the introduction to both of these subjects which is very important internal med was one of my favorite subjects because you got to do a lot of stuff in the hospitals um especially like physical examination of the patients so for that what i did was i went through some youtube videos for it and apart from that the uni recommends this internal medicine book i don't have it with me right now because i just borrowed it so i would definitely recommend you guys to go over that and for surgery i just made my own notes went through some stuff online and that was basically it so i would recommend you guys to do the same and it, it depends like depending on your day your surgery exam could be very different as opposed to other people because the thing is like for me i just had an oral bit for it and that's all i had to learn for but for some people they were also asked on instruments used in surgery as well so depending on your day surgery could go differently or at least that's how it was during my time in third year for internal medicine, the final is going to consist of two parts. So the first part is going to be the diagnosis or like the physical examination, like whatever you have learned during your practicals, you usually get that. And apart from this, you're going to have the question answer segment. So for this, again, I think you get a doublet or a triplet and you just answer whatever is given. The catch to it is sometimes you could be asked on ECG. So make sure your ECG is very thorough, um, both interpreting the results as well as some of the basic stuff that you're going to learn in physiology in second year. So make sure it's really solid because you want to make sure like you have covered all your grounds before giving internal med because I feel like it could be a tough subject depending on which department you got assigned to. So definitely make sure your internal med knowledge is solid with respect to both the physical aspect as well as the theoretical aspect and i would definitely recommend you to go over some of the patho and pathophysiology aspects of some of the diseases mentioned during class one of them definitely being cushing's then the other one hypothyroidism and the third one being or congestive heart disease stuff like that now these things are going to be more like dealt with in depth during the summer of third year for pathology but even then it's good to know these things in case if your professor asks for it and yeah so that's all I have for winter semester. And while studying all these subjects, I would definitely recommend you to make sure your pathology knowledge is pretty solid because in the summer, it gets quite hectic to just sit and grind with pathology. I mean, there's not going to be much of an incentive to learn pathology throughout the winter and summer because there aren't any real exams for it till like towards the end. But even then, I would definitely recommend all of you guys to sit and study it thoroughly because it's a very important subject. And it's considered to be the toughest subject of the preclinical years so i would definitely recommend you guys to make sure your theory is really solid for pathology so that's it for me today see you guys next time